Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating a smaller toggle knot. Now the original toggle knot is the ABUC 615. The original toggle knot is a properly sized toggle which can be used to open up and close bracelets and has various other uses. This smaller version may be a bit more handy on smaller projects and it is a lot easier to tie. With this said, let's take a look at the knot, then tie one. So here you can see two toggle knots. On the left we have a small toggle knot. And on the right, we have the original ABUC 615, so the toggle knot. As you can see, the small toggle knot is about half the size of the original toggle knot. This is because it is based on the 5 part 3 byte Turks head, while the original toggle knot is based on the 8 part 3 byte Turks head. If I could compare the size to any knot, the small toggle knot would be about the size of a lanyard knot, while the ABUC 615 is about twice the width. So what are we going to tie in this video? We're going to make the toggle knot as well as this byte or loop over which we can place any technique, for example a series of cobra knots, maybe some sort of a Turk's head knot or anything else. So we're going to build a base for a bracelet. The supplies for the small toggle knot are pretty much the same as with any cylindrical Turk's head knot. So we have something to tie the knot onto, in my case a half inch dowel rod. You can also use a stick, a pen or anything else. I attached a rubber band onto my dowel rod in order to hold the standing end of my paracord. Secondly, a lacing needle is used in order to make the tying of the knot easier. It is optional but recommended. Finally, a piece of paracord is used to tie the knot. The knot itself uses up about 9 inches of paracord. The rest of the paracord is going to be used up for the base, so the bite that is used for the core of a bracelet. So do account for these two lengths. 9 inches for the knot and the rest for the base. To start tying, attach your lacing needle onto one end of your paracord. Tuck the other end under the rubber band. Continue by doing a single wrap around. Come over the standing end, wrap around again towards the bottom side, and over, over this part. Then from right to left, pass over two, so over these two parts, and under the standing end. Like this. Now from left to right, pass over two, going parallel to the standing end on its left, so over two, then under one. Now, from right to left, we're going to split this pair of strands going over under, over under. To finish up the knot, simply place your working hand alongside the standing hand going over under. 
like this. Now to finish up the knot, remove the rubber band, remove the knot off of the mandrel, place your working end back into the opening where it comes out and travel through the center of the knot to the right side. Like this. Take the left end, so the standing end, again place it through the opening where it comes out and go out through the center of the knot on the left side. And with this we have set up our toggle knot. We have the toggle and the bight. Remove the lacing needle and start tightening up. We're going to start tightening at the standing end and we're going to run the slack out into the loop. So you pull in a bit of your standing end and then you work out the slack through the entire knot. Do it slowly and do several tightenings. There is no rush and you don't want to distort the knot. So be careful to do it slowly, patiently and with attention to detail. So I did one pass of tightening. As you saw, I worked out the slack into the bite. Do several more tightenings until you get a very tight and rigid knot. After several tightenings, the knot is very rigid and stiff. I can't tighten it anymore. Now there is one issue with this toggle knot that you need to be aware of. One of the ends tends to slip back into the loop. Now to prevent this I recommend trimming both ends and melting them into a nice mushroom cap. So what you do is you trim it and you melt it, then press on it in order to flatten out the end. This is going to prevent it from slipping back into the loop. By flattening out your end like this, you prevent it from slipping back into the loop since it jams here. You can do this on both sides of the knot. Finally, to make the toggle knot even more rigid and stiff, people place it in hot water. What I like to do is take my lighter and simply heat up the entire toggle knot a bit. I don't want to damage the paracord by melting too much, I just want to heat it up to stiffen it up a bit more. So guys, that's pretty much it for the small toggle knot. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you next time.